If you're new here, I am Jackie with the Mama Mia DIY. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. Some of the stuff is for me, some of the stuff is for work, and some stuff I picked up for my sister. So let's get into this. We'll start off with what I picked up for my sister. She sent me a text and she's like, if you find these, pick them up for me. So I've got all four of the little creamers for her. This one was the Weather Vane, our farmhouse, which matches the uh, flag that they've got out for the spring too. This was home is where the family gathers. This one is Farm Sweet Farm. And then this mint green color one, local and fresh. So I picked up those for her. I found some more flowers. Uh, so what is it? Lip suede, velvet lip chunky, and it's in the color lights a peach. So I picked that up. I've been seeing people haul these little cameras. They're two different ones. This one's kind of textured and then there's this one so I picked those up for me we like grilling and eating out on the patio so I bought three of these cooking concept paper plate holders you get four in there so I picked those up picked up two of these tags shaped faux wood looking Wi-Fi password in the dark and in the white. I think this is the one I'm going to hang up with our password on there and I'll probably DIY something with that one. So I found these, they look like geodes and ones of you that have been here know that I love my crystals. So I picked those up, probably just working on trying to get my craft area straightened out and just sitting on the shelf in there, thinking about putting a coat of glossy Mod Podge on there so it look like they're polished stones. So, those for me. And then I got like five or six of these Luau skirts, which is the raffia. We are having a Luau party. Oh, it works. Get this out of the way. Sorry for that noise. In June, so I picked up some of those so the ladies don't come prepared. They'll have a skirt. Also picked up these little doilies. I thought about using these when we do our church dolls that I talked about before. So add a little lacy touch so that goes to work i just picked up two of these decorative bows they're 7.48 inch by 12.2 inch and it's just the burlap with the stars and stripes
and I forget who said this, but I like the idea. She picked these up and was going to put them on the foam board and make a backdrop. And I forget who it was. So I picked up four of the stones. And I picked up four of this white tape shiplap looking. And these are 12 inch by 12 inch self-adhesive wall tile, tool bench. Great for kitchens and bathroom. Easy to use. Just peel and stick. So I, I wish they had these last year. I used the, the cooking concept. Steal and pick. Steal and pick. Peel and stick. Let's try that again. Um big foil sheets that they have and did a fake backsplash in my kitchen but I wish they had that because I really like those I picked up a couple of these placemats I saw Olivia from Olivia's Romantic Home do some DIYs with this so uh, these are kind of my colors outside my green's a little bit brighter than this but and those for diy for outside i've got this little stars doing a, a collab i guess you call it i forget what she called this calling it with uh, Teresa B DIYs and Unicorn Dust Designs, a patriotic theme. So I picked up the stencil for some of those. And I've got this wall st sticker and it says, Be the Sunshine. And I'm hoping, I probably won't be able to. I was hoping I could cut the sun away. That just be the sunshine for anybody. You know, just smile and say hello. Don't be grumpy all the time. Be nice. I need its nautical robe, so I picked it up in the jute, and it is eight feet. Uh, this one just feels funny picked up four of these for DIY that's coming up and I haven't seen the cotton nautical rope but I like this I've seen tons of people using it so I picked up three of these and these are the 11 foot I remember the days when this was like 13.7 feet now it's eight and these are 11, so I picked those up. Made with love. I can't find anything to stick down in there, but right here, it's made in love and it's got this diamond. So, this DIY, I have turn it into a vase. I'm going to paint it and then distress it and hauled some daisies from Dollar General, I think, and do a little summer bouquet in there. And I was so happy to find the, the farmhouse ribbon, nine feet. It's five eighths of an inch wide. And it's the little, I think it's, it's gray. I think it's gray. Little stripe on there. I've been looking for this. I know they had it last year and could never find it. So I found it this year and I bought four of them. 
I've bought this before. It's just a little black and white dots. So I like that. And the lemons. So I picked up those. The only one that I'm wanting out of the farmhouse is sunflower one. I have not been able to find that one. So I'm hoping one of the stores that I go to that I'm able to find it because I really want that one. I picked up four of these little square, no, three, excuse me, three of these little square plates. Uh, can't see it, but right back here I have a little tear tray that's uh, wrought on, and I put these in here and use it as a serving tray for hors d'oeuvres or snacks or whatever. Let me get the one that I've got for this. So this is the one that I got these for. And I'm going to paint this black. Let me sh show you guys what I do with it. So, and you can set cupcakes on here. You can do hors d'oeuvres, fruit, cheese, whatever. But found this at the thrift store for, I don't think, like $5. Not crazy about the gold. So, that's why I'm going to clean it up, spray paint it, and then I will have two of these. The tops are kind of different, but they're both three rises, so get that spray painted and ready for summertime holiday get-togethers. I thought I'd give these a try. They're either a sure extra thick comfort cushion insoles. Long-lasting comfort absorbs shocks, keeps feet cool and dry. So, just a little insert. My husband gave me a pair of duck boots for Christmas, and the insole that's in it is has moved and it won't lay straight and bunches up when I wear them. So, thought I'd give those a try. Just a few more things, my friends. Let's see, 14 minutes. Love this. I'm probably going to do absolutely nothing with this, but stick it in my tear tray or with my lemon theme. And this is our happy place with the cute little butterfly and this gorgeous yellow. So I picked that one up. And then this one. The fake shiplap in the back with the flower. Home is where mom is. And then this one, I'm going to stick up in my bedroom. I've gone from doing like grays to I'm really loving the blue. So, mom, I love you. I'm going to stick that in my bedroom. But with these, if I can, with these you can take. I think it's on the other side of the glass. Take your glass out. Take fingernail polish remover. Get this off or a razor blade and scrape it off. Pop that little flower off. Paint this. Turn it into whatever you want. So that. And the last few things that I got. Our DIY wind chimes. And let's open this one. So you get all the stuff to make the wind chime. But I loved this. Oh, beautiful America. 
and you can always have some sort of the bottles. The husband's out riding the bicycle and they're going crazy. So I've hooked up this. I did last year when we first reopened from COVID picked up some wind chimes to do at work with them. Cannot figure out how to put them together because they do not come with instructions. I've got three of those. And this one is just, oops, I got more of these. It's the Uncle Sam hat saying welcome. And this one's Firecrackers USA. And then this one is Stars and Stripes in the star form. I know I've got more because I picked up two of each because I thought if I didn't do them, the grandkids could. But I don't know what I've done with them, but so that's it for this Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So that's it for this video, my friends. This is Monday, May 10th, the day after Mother's Day. So I want to wish each and every one of you gorgeous moms and grandmas a happy belated Mother's Day. Uh, my kids all came over. Well, I knew my daughter-in-law and -in -law was coming over, but I didn't know that my oldest daughter and grandkids were coming. And my son was an hour away. His job's an hour away. He stays up there unless he doesn't have to work, and then he comes home. Well, he drove an hour to come home to be with me for... A few hours to turn around and go back so that made my day uh, if you're new here think about subscribing hit the notification button when the bell drops down select all and YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new video comment down below if you guys have found the farmhouse ribbon in the sunflower because I'm still on the hunt for that one uh, share with your family and friends and just know that I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are awesome. I have been working on DIY projects. The patriotic one will premiere on the 18th. That's when Teresa B is doing her patriotic uh, playlist. I forget the name of the organization that she's doing. She's donating all of her May uh, earnings from YouTube to, I can't think of it guys, I'm sorry. I'll put it in the description box down below. So that one is on the 18th. Uh, then I've got a trash to treasure one. That one is not to the 27th. And then there's, that one is with Purple Pixie. And I forget who her co-host is for that one. But I'll have all that linked down in the description box. And then uh, Twine It Up is on the 20th. So I've got those three collabs, challenges, whatever you want to call them. I can never keep it straight. It's been crazy so I hope you guys have a blessed day and evening depending on whenever you watch this and I 
shall see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!